any bird that you see anywhere. Say hi to me and I'll wave back. I'm there. And so there's an erasing of, uh, of duality and a, and a more fuller entering in to beingness with Gaia, with Mother Earth. And uh, I guess I wanted to record it. I'll, I'll mention one other thing. I was also brought to tears by another Earth video, Earth-centered video today that um, I'll put a link if I publish this. I guess it's getting published. I can see that happening. Um, it's called uh, Volcano Passion or Volcanic Passion. And uh, it's uh, anybody that loves the Earth, uh, loves rocks, uh, you'll fall in love all over again with the magnificence and the majesty of Gaia. It's phenomenal. And so um, it's, it's almost like a mating with Gaia. I mean, does that make any sense? But it's done in, in her bits and pieces, not, not the individual crystals or the individual trees or the individual birds, but with individual species. Um, and I believe I've joined with the bears as well but I'm not completely certain so I'll have to say no that's that's maybe a partial joining um, this is very very deep you know it when it happens um, you can you can have different experiences where maybe you are even brought to tears before the majesty and the beauty of something but that doesn't necessarily mean that you you've joined up like this so I don't know what it is friends but if any of you are having similar experiences that would be neat to know about we could weave all kinds of stories around these things I'm not necessarily interested in that what's the meaning of it I mean how can we know whatever it is it is what it is and it's special and it's beautiful and and it's based on founded on and an expression of love uh, and so I share it Okay, to continue, um, I, I neglected to mention something really important, and that is uh, oneness with the water. I amness um, is shared with all of the oceans, the lakes, the seas, the bodies of water everywhere when you swim in the ocean my friend you swim in me now right now I only know myself this way away from civilization so this would be in natural bodies of water not so much in your toilet or in your swimming pool uh, but I don't know um, I you know we see as much as we can see our experience is well ahead of our sight and so for most of us we have a lot of uh, changing and altering and clearing of vision that needs to be done and um, I've gone a long way in that direction that's my joy and delight is uh, perception perspective and vision and playing with that um, and when you're the one, when you're the all, that really opens the doors, don't you see? We can all do this. Remember, I'm just a regular Jane. Uh, there's nothing here that isn't there, right there where you are. But um, I really did want to share that I'm one with the water. And I started to say with the dolphins. And the whales as well but I, I had to stop and not say that because while I love them dearly and we play and visit and swim and dance and and so on um, that's not sharing I am this this is a, a deeply distinctive experience that one um, doesn't forget 
and and you don't miss it. It's it's such a deep level of oneness. I mean, you've got a sense of who and what you are. What well you it's hard to envision, I know. Um it's a very surprising experience too. But through the door of love you can actually share your being. I, I don't know, you know, words aren't going to cut it. Words aren't going to cut it. Okay, so I will share with you that I share I am this with the water. And this would be all the oceans and the seas and the lakes and uh, and probably the farmer's ponds and things like that. Things that are in nature. Um, I look at the cities and I look at the pavement and the buildings and all the things that seem to block the flow of Mother Nature's chi and her energy. And I know Source is just as much in that as she is in anything. It's just that I think um, when I look at it, I, I don't get that instant connection and that deep sense that I do with the rivers and the streams and the trees and that kind of thing. So um, I just wanted to share this extra little bit about uh, and so and also with the sun um, that's that's um, that's an amazing thing. Please my friends realize that nature is sentient Gaia is sentient, um, and so is the sun, the galaxy. I would venture to say the solar system. Now, I haven't actually met and interacted with our solar system. I have with the sun and with the earth, and I haven't uh, visited the other planets. I've also interacted with the uh, Milky Way galaxy and believe me or not I mean that's that's your choice uh, but I will suggest you need to uh, be open and uh, clear some barriers you know there's no such thing as limitations there are only beliefs and as the beliefs come crashing down anything is possible and when I say that, I mean it. Anything is possible. Um, the galaxy will commune with you. If you go there and if you're in heart, in your meditation, and uh, it's easy enough to be in joy when you're visiting star systems and uh, just swimming around that way. And you may find yourself greeted by the sentient being that is the Milky Way. I kid you not. I am not pulling your leg or playing with you here. These things are very real. We're going to be connecting with, contacting, and communing with nature in ways that would blow our, our 3D minds, you know, but we're going beyond 3D and uh, we share identity with these things anyway, but it's experienceable okay it's experienceable so everybody go hug a tree go visit with your potted plant uh, you know start start looking at this stuff from the heart start checking it out start interacting with nature and with life from your heart um, and I, I can guarantee you will be surprised at what you find we haven't been prepared for this by our uh, society and our schooling and uh, whatever we've been presented in this life and so uh, the joy and delight that is before you my friends if mine is any measure is absolutely inexpressible love walking oh my god oh my friends it, it, it just goes even beyond a concept of heaven, I think, because it's real. It's real. And uh, nature loves you back. Check it out. Bye-bye.